Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best entry level couples travel trailers in the entire RV industry. This is a 2022 Grand Design Transcend Model 260RB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome Transcend Will. When I saw this, I said, this is one of the best floor plans for couples that I've ever seen. Before we begin, let's say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? going good another beautiful day here in charleston south carolina and um the hershey show is coming up next week guys we hope to meet each and every one of you there if you do live closer to the carolinas or georgia or florida um, elijah has agreed to price match any hershey show so any unit that he has here make sure to stop by and talk to him i love it well i love it we're gonna talk to elijah a little bit later yep but will we gotta rest up for the hershey show that's right so let's begin all right Model is 260RB, transcend, Will. The actual tip-tip length is 31 feet, 6 inches. The dry weight is 6,147 pounds, and the hitch weight, uh-oh, I just, is 627. Okay. So this is an awesome entry-level travel trailer. Now, check it out. I say entry-level, here's what I mean. It's aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing, yep. okay? But this is a grand design entry-level. That means the best of the best right. when it comes to entry-level power tongue jack from Lippert here. Propane tanks go here and you got your batteries there. Coming on down the side here, you got a nice smooth front. And then again, this is the aluminum corrugated sides, but it's a good look, Will. It really it, is. It's the best looking and best constructed entry level travel trailer on yes. the market. Right here, you got a bracket if you do want to watch TV, which is kind of a weird spot there. Yeah, it is. Whatever. Very nice storage right there. Okay. Look at how big that storage door is. It really is. And then right there, we do got manual stabilizing jacks. Coming on down the side, we do got a very nice power awning with LED lights. And then coming to the door, Will, look at the aluminum steps. I know, they're still doing it. Still doing it. Not a fan of it. We much prefer the solid steps. Even though this is entry level, they should have done the solid steps. Yep. We'll talk about that later. We got a nice big grab handle here. And then right here is your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Yes, sir. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the West Lakes. I love those. ST205-75 R15. And then right here, Will, um, is a six gallon water heater. That was the Lion's Head sticker. Oh, it was it? Yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't sure if that was a Goodyear sticker. And they're all like, oh, we don't do Goodyear's anymore. So no. it was Lion's Head. Yep. Very good. Right here, Will, this doesn't make any sense. Power and coax here. So I wonder what that yeah. bracket was over there. That's weird. LED light right there. And then coming on down the side here, we do have a nice bumper for a stinky slinky. Spare tire carrier. It does come with a spare tire, okay? It is prepped for a Furion backup camera. And Will, there is a ladder to get up on the roof. 300 pound rated. Cool. Let's go up there and take a look. All right. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. One air conditioning unit, Furion. Right there is your WineGuard digital antenna, and you can see that it does have solar on the roof. Here we go now. There you go. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Coming around the side, Will, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Yep. 30 amp power plug plugged in for us. Right there, we got a black tank flush. That means we're gonna have AC on the inside, Will. Right. Right here, this is where you're dumping your black and gray tanks. Very nice. Okay. And then coming on down the side, here's the gray tank dump. I'm gonna look at this. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I'm talking about, Will. Yeah. Even though it's entry level, it's enclosed, battery disconnect, fresh water hookup, city water, I mean, potable water fill. Everything's right there. Potable, potable. Very nice. Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. 
Let's go. Take a look. All right. All right, starting up front is the bedroom. Coming down in the middle is the kitchen, dining area, living area. And in the back is the bathroom. Yes, sir, Will. We're gonna start up front in the master bedroom, but first, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lippert. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lippert. Did you guys know Lippert does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I wanna show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can, you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the big bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Will, coming on up front here, we're in the master bedroom. Nice queen size bed, okay? Okay. We got to walk around. Yep. We got a TV backer right here. And then over here, we got a drawer, some storage. Storage up top here. Opened, yes. And then the same storage over here. Very nice. Right over here, a little headboard right there, which is kind of a little unique. Yep. It's a queen size bed with the pocket door behind Will. Okay. So is that, it's not prep for, a, yeah, because it's 30 amp. Yeah, it's not you See prepped. that cricket in there? Is there a cricket in there? Yeah. How did it get there? M must have been open. How did the, but how did the cricket get there? Right. It doesn't make any sense. And then right here, Will, there is storage underneath the bed right there. Okay. Still alive? Nope, nope. He, he fried. Probably got too hot in here. That's yeah. what happens to us. Poor Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> All right, coming on through outside of the bedroom, we enter the living room area. And again, Will, just take a look at this layout. It's right. very nice. It really is. Starting right here, the um, dinette. Nice big window on this side. They kind of got the live edge table here. Boost yep. style dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. Right here, we got storage underneath here. Same thing over here. Yes, sir. And then is this the, yeah, see this is the reversible. So if you like the little checkers right there, you can. And let's say. See, I like that better. Me too. But you know what I like even better than this? The option. Dang, Will, you're starting to read my mind. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. Right here. We do got a little skylight there. Yep. AC unit right here, fully ducted Furion, which is really nice. And then here, we got storage. All right, nice looking balances, plain balances with this, okay? Yep. Now, brown, brown, and brown's boring, but I feel, this is gonna be very contradicting, but I feel like the way Grand Design does brown, brown, and brown, it's pretty nice. Does that make sense? I'm not crazy about it, but I get what you're saying. See, I like more like this, which obviously this trim piece is missing. Oh, you but know, a little what? bit of contrast. They did do the two colors. Yeah. Did they do that with the cabinetry and they just stopped doing that? I think so. Mm mm mm. I don't know, Will. I don't know. These things all start to blend together. They do. But, well, we're in an entry level travel trailer, chilling on the Thomas Paine, three seater sofa, remote. Two seater. Two seater sofa, three cup holders. Yeah. Okay. With the eight remote holder right there. And well, you can't even blame it on the heat this time. Right. Because we got AC. the AC. But well, here's what I will say. This is one of the most comfortable oh, theater seats. Yes, yes, yes. It's one of the most comfortable theater seats in the RV industry. It is. We are looking directly across from the entertainment center. Okay. But, but well, back here. Uh oh. Fun fact of the day, when I first moved to Florida, I couldn't afford furniture. Right. I had Thomas Paine in my living room. Right. Fun fact of the day. 
Oh, well, back over here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right over here, we got the Furion sound system. Deep storage right okay. there. Will, you're probably going to have Furion or uh, Thomas Payne furniture as well. Will just bought a new house. But, what, a month or two earlier, you bought a nice new sofa. Yeah. For his old house, which he doesn't have anymore. Well, we bought it a year ago, but... With... Was it a, a year ago already? Almost, yeah, but with Dang. delays. We didn't oh. Get it. Very big storage right there. When did you get it? Um, March, I think. March or April. Right, so it's only three months old. That's yep. funny. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. So if you guys need a sofa as well, let Will know. <laughs> but first, let's go inside and talk to Elijah, the GM of RV1 of Charleston. Elijah, what's the MSRP of the Grand Design Transcend? Matt is $40,318. Sale price for RV1 of Charleston. For Matt's RV reviews customers. Only from the general manager. $34,995. If you guys are interested, how do people get a hold of you? 843-900-2140. Call the store, ask for Elijah, ask for the sales manager, let them know that you watch Matt's RV reviews and Elijah's gonna get you a phenomenal deal. Great Matt's service. RV reviews price. Great service and the best <laughs> RV buying experience in the industry. Elijah, Elijah's cooking us ribs. Now we gotta go back to his house. But first, Will, <laughs> let's finish this video. Will, where do you even begin on this kitchen? I guess we'll start right over here with this huge pantry. Man, this really is a huge kitchen for a travel trailer. For an entry level for travel entry trailer level at that. Trailer, yeah. Nice Furion microwave right there. Furion range hood. Three burner Furion cooktop right here with the blue lights and oven. Nice. Nice storage right there. Yes, sir. And up top. And then this is some of the grand design difference right yes. there. Yes. If you guys want to pause your screen and take a look at it. Nice. And then there is um, a good amount of counter space here um, for your utensils or prepping or whatever. And it's not solid surface. Again, it's entry level. So they're trying to keep that cost down. Nice Furion refrigerator here. Love that. Yes. There's a piece of crap battery. Hmm. And, oh, well, I, well, I got to show the whole thing. Okay. Well, this is a big big decision for people. They want to see that whole fridge. <laughs> nice compressor fridge, a little bit of storage underneath. And then over here is really awesome as well. Nice. Tons of upper storage here. Yes. Good counter space here. I assume there's inserts somewhere. We got a little spray faucet there. Big single bowl sink. Drawer here on both sides. Yes, sir little spot for your sponge. Yes. Is that other drawer. And more storage right there. Very nice, Will. Cool. It's an awesome kitchen setup. It is. It's now time for the bathroom, Will. Okay. Now we're walking all the way to the back of the camper. And this is a fantastic look at that. Oh man, the height. I know. Man, it's how, hard. How do you how are you feeling? See, I can't couldn't I couldn't even get the shower head up there, so I think I'm gonna fail it. Right. But this is but kudos. Yeah, it's like huge props to them. Right. It's that step up. Yeah. Yep, it's it's just too thick. It is. It's okay. Does it pass? No. And I thought it was going to. Right. I mean, it's a nice, yeah, it's like a 36 by 42. Yeah. Could have, would have, should have. But guess what, Will? Didn't. Didn't. We don't make the showers, Will. We just review them. That's right. Nice little sink area. This is a great, great counter space. This is a great setup. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like imagine people who put makeup on, right? They can, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ooh. Very nice. Gonna switch. That's a great placement. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before we leave, it's time we give you three things we love about this trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we you like. <laughs> yeah, dude, if you can't read my mind. No, I'm just kidding. Will, life number one. This is the primest 
of pooping positions. Bing! Jen, if you don't put the biggest bing, Jen, do that again, because you just made a small bing. Jen, I want you to make it a big old bing. This is a prime poop position. Bing! That is great. This is insane, well, insanity. This is nicer than my bathroom at home. Right. I can't even touch the wall with right. my leg. Look at this. Serious. Well, sit on this freaking toilet. Okay. We gotta see it, Will. We gotta see it. It's crazy. This is Spread awesome. your legs out. Well, I can well, see, touch, you, but... Yeah, Will can touch, but still. This is one of the best primest of pooping positions really I've ever is. seen. Yeah. And well, I'm gonna combo it with one of the best bathrooms. Again, great. it sucks about that shower, but I think it's because of how the transcends are. Yeah. Where if they had this floor plan in the Imagine or the Reflection, mm -hmm. it, it would have passed easy. I agree. Well, that is like number one. Like number two, I gotta say this kitchen. Yeah. This kitchen's fantastic, it's big, it's Tons nice. Of counter space. And then, well, if you don't mind, do you have a strong number three? I think we're on the same page anyways. Are you saying this? Yeah. Just the whole, the like whole Like this whole layout. area, yeah. This is nice, that's like number three. This is like, that's nice, like number two. It fits perfectly like Tetris pieces, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And it just works, I like the big windows. I like everything about this show. I agree. It's super, super nice. It's a great floor plan. Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. And this is going to be a little tough, okay. but well, I feel like you can do it. What's this like, number one? For one, I'm going to say this slide out. Yep. Again, they got the toe kicker here. It's not fun. And I'm starting to realize any kitchen in a slide out. Yep. Well, not really. I mean, maybe it's in a these travel, travel trailers. trailers. Or, yeah. Well, in these grand designs. Yeah. It's just so low. It's so low for you. Yeah. Again, so. it is what it is. Um, that's dislike number one. Well, dislike number two is going to be another so low. Mm -hmm. This is the so low dislikes for Will because it's so low. That shower. Yeah. That shower was such a good size. That's the first ever 36 by 42 shower failed. that's failed. I know. You know? And unfortunately, in, in, in a market like this, in a brand like this that's so nice, I got to make that dislike number two. And then, well, dislike number three. We're going there. Yeah. These aluminum fold up steps. Well, it's cooler in there. It is. Never like them, never will like them. Give me the solid steps, please. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. We can't wait to see everybody next week at the Hershey RV show. We have a display booth. Jen, please insert where we are. Like, yeah, Jen, put the map and circle where we are. That's where our display is. It was at the same spot as it was last year at the show. Yes. But the manufacturers are all in different spots. Right. But Matt's RV reviews, we're in the same exact spot. We can't wait to meet everybody and see you guys and hang out and talk RVs and um, everything. We're super excited. If you guys are interested in this unit, please go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're gonna make sure that we get you a great price. We sell Grand Designs nationwide. That's right. Will, what do you wanna say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Again, um, like Matt said, we sell Grand Designs everywhere. We have so many connections with Grand Designs, so make sure to reach out to us. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yeah, so much you. for watching, and Will, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.